Importance of freshwater for humans and other organisms. Freshwater is a crucial resource for all living organisms on Earth. It is essential for the survival of humans, plants, and animals. For humans, freshwater is needed for drinking, personal hygiene, agriculture, and industrial use. Our bodies are made up of about 60% water, and we need to consume water daily to maintain our body functions. For plants, water is necessary for growth, photosynthesis, and nutrient absorption. Animals depend on fresh water for hydration, habitat, and sustenance. Without fresh water, ecosystems would crumble, and life as we know it would cease to exist. Importance of fresh water for biodiversity. Freshwater habitats, such as rivers, lakes, and wetlands, support a wide array of species. These habitats are critical for maintaining global biodiversity, as they provide unique environments for many specialized plants and animals. The high species richness in freshwater ecosystems contributes to the overall health of our planet, as it enables natural processes like nutrient cycling and water purification. The conservation of freshwater habitats is thus vital to preserving Earth's delicate balance. Sources of freshwater. Freshwater can be found in various forms on Earth, such as surface water, groundwater, and ice. Surface water includes lakes, rivers, and wetlands, while groundwater is the water stored beneath the Earth's surface in soil and rock formations. Ice, such as glaciers and ice caps, represents another significant source of freshwater. Rivers. Rivers are considered open systems because they are continuously receiving and releasing water, nutrients, and organisms. Human activities and natural processes can greatly impact river systems. For example, agricultural runoff can introduce pollutants and excess nutrients into rivers, leading to the growth of harmful algal blooms that deplete oxygen and threaten aquatic life. Deforestation can increase sedimentation in rivers, altering habitats and reducing water quality. Climate change can also affect river systems, causing shifts in temperature and precipitation patterns and altering water flow and availability. Ponds and lakes. Unlike rivers, ponds and lakes are considered closed systems. They have limited exchange with their surrounding environment, which makes them more susceptible to pollution and other impacts. In closed systems, the water's chemical and physical properties, such as temperature, oxygen levels, and nutrient concentrations, remain relatively stable. However, human activities, like nutrient loading from agricultural or urban runoff, can disrupt the balance in these ecosystems, leading to issues such as eutrophication and loss of biodiversity. Wetlands. Wetlands are unique ecosystems where land and water meet, creating a diverse habitat for a wide range of species. They include marshes, swamps, bogs, and fens. Wetlands play a critical role in maintaining water quality as they act as natural filters, absorbing pollutants and nutrients from the water. They also provide essential flood protection by absorbing and storing excess water during periods of heavy rainfall. In addition to their ecological benefits, wetlands offer numerous cultural, recreational, and economic values. They serve as vital habitats for many migratory bird species, support commercial and recreational fisheries, and provide opportunities for ecotourism. The protection and restoration of wetlands are essential for maintaining the health of our planet and the well-being of future generations. Human Impacts on Freshwater Sources Human activities have significantly impacted freshwater sources, leading to issues like pollution, 
changes to land, and alterations to the natural flow of freshwater through the construction of dams. Pollution is one of the major threats to freshwater sources. Agricultural, industrial, and urban activities can introduce pollutants such as chemicals, heavy metals, and organic waste into water bodies. Pesticides and fertilizers used in agriculture can leach into groundwater or be carried by runoff into rivers and lakes, causing harm to aquatic life and affecting water quality. Industrial discharges, untreated sewage, and litter can also degrade freshwater ecosystems, posing risks to both human health and the environment. Human-induced changes to land, such as deforestation, urbanization, and agriculture, can significantly affect freshwater sources. Deforestation removes vegetation that helps to filter water and stabilize soil, increasing erosion and sedimentation in rivers and lakes. Urbanization leads to the expansion of impervious surfaces, such as roads and buildings, which increase stormwater runoff and reduce the ability of the ground to absorb water. These changes can alter the hydrological cycle, leading to increased flooding and reduced water quality. Dams and altered freshwater flow. Dams are constructed for various reasons, including flood control, water supply, and hydroelectric power generation. While they provide significant benefits, dams can also have negative impacts on freshwater ecosystems. By altering the natural flow of water, dams can disrupt the migration patterns of fish and other aquatic species, fragment habitats, and change the distribution of nutrients and sediments downstream. The construction of dams can also lead to the displacement of local communities and the loss of cultural and historical sites. To minimize the negative impacts of human activities on freshwater sources, it is essential to adopt sustainable practices and implement effective water management strategies. This includes reducing pollution through proper waste disposal, promoting water conservation, and protecting and restoring freshwater ecosystems. By working together, we can ensure the long-term health and availability of freshwater resources for future generations. Thanks for watching. For related worksheets and other resources, create a free account on ngscience.com. Don't forget to subscribe!